Snipers, you have to see what's happening to the Bitcoin price this Thursday as it's not a surprise that we're seeing a move to the upside towards 44,800, which is the major resistance inside of the range that we're currently in, which now is 41,950 and 44,800 since we have a full daily candle body above 41,950. But remember yesterday's video and the volume analysis we did here when we first tested this 100 day moving average and came below 40,000 US dollars two days ago. We determined that sellers are still quite in control on the micro time frame. So as we start to head towards 44,800, we just have to realize that this is garden variety market behavior to come back up to test a previous support, which will now turn into resistance at 44,800. And if we're able to get any hourly or four hour candles above 44,800, at that point, we could potentially assume that Bitcoin is not going to just start to move to the downside in an aggressive manner, we could potentially start seeing more sideways price action and maybe get back in the range towards the $44,800 and $49,700 level. But this is all going to de be determined about uh, how Bitcoin reacts to this $44,800 level. So I needed to get this video out to you guys because as soon as we start to come test 44,800, we want to start looking at the micro time frames and how the volume is going to react. And so far, because we're starting to buy ourselves some time, which we talked about this being the case yesterday. Ethereum has been able to also see some strength to the upside. Notice how we came back above 3000 US dollars and we're still inside of the really deep range from 3454 all the way to 1980. But because the Ethereum and Bitcoin chart has yet to break the major support at 65,000 Satoshis, we're just seeing now a garden variety retest of a previous resistance for the Ethereum and Bitcoin chart where we're now seeing some strength, nothing to go home and tell grandma about. Notice the volume is not crazy at this level, but this is allowing Ethereum to also maneuver itself with Bitcoin and, you know, outperform maybe in uh, in some days. Uh, but for the most part, we have to realize the uh, medium term trend so far for this chart has been to the downside since we've been forming new lows pretty much on every daily candle until we now saw this test of the uh, support. And so this is not a surprise to see a push to the upside so far. So until we can start seeing the theory of Bitcoin chart get above the monthly open, I think at 78 or 72,800 Satoshis, that's when we can start assuming potential strength for altcoins and maybe a continuation for this Ethereum to Bitcoin chart to even come up and form a new high, maybe even come to try to test 86,000 Satoshis. But we can't start talking about that right now until we get above this monthly open. So for now, altcoins are not going to be performing as strong as Bitcoin in the medium term. In the short term, anything can happen, of course, because when these charts and these prices don't cross the major support or resistance levels like 65,000 Satoshis, they can still buy time inside the range, right? So let's continue to monitor Ethereum to Bitcoin as a leading indicator for all coins. We'll check the other revolving parts of the crypto market as we always do on our channel and then cover traditional markets. But let's just dive straight into this Bitcoin analysis. This is what matters right now. So since yesterday, we go into this three hour chart. What we saw is after we initially came down below 40,000, we saw the maybe buy limit orders that were already in that range get triggered and we were able to see price move back above the forty one thousand nine hundred and fifty dollar level, which is a major support. And because we have our daily candle right now fully above forty one thousand nine hundred fifty, this is the level we want to watch. If we get below forty one thousand nine hundred fifty or we start coming down towards it, that's not going to be a good sign for Bitcoin because the volume right now does not justify a strong move to the upside. So we really want to monitor forty one thousand nine hundred fifty. We get to forty four thousand eight hundred. As I mentioned, hourly and four hour candles are the first confirmation of some upside and realize this as well. What's playing part in the macro is Bitcoin has been able to hold the 100 day moving average with no daily candle bodies below this level. But we did get some wicks clearing the order books, telling me that if institutions or whales are willing to sell at the prices below the 100 day moving average, psychologically, does that tell us that there's a potential they're expecting lower prices like the thirty six thousand five hundred dollar level? Well, we talked about that psychology from the volume analysis we did yesterday. So we'll continue to monitor this, but there's no need to look at the volume today just because we have not yet tested the forty four thousand eight hundred dollar level. But I needed to let you guys know that when we do, we really want to monitor the volume because if we get above it. This could be a more elongated period of sideways price action for Bitcoin. So nothing crazy has happened over the last twenty four hours other than a garden variety relief of this 
pushed to the downside. I told you guys there's going to be a lot of volatility. Um, and because the DXY is yet to cross the major resistance here at 93.82, I believe it's starting to buy us some time. I know we just had a Fed meeting and Jerome Powell mentioned that they are going to start tapering here very soon. Um, so let's see uh, how this DXY starts to move over the next few days into the next few weeks, because it's going to really be a huge deal if we get above 93.82. That's certainly going to affect a lot of markets. We haven't been there for over a year. And uh, so, so that could certainly not just affect the cryptocurrency market, but it would most likely also affect the S&P 500. So far, though, we're seeing what we want with the S&P 500 to bounce at the 100 day moving average. Now we want to see if we can get above the 50 day moving average sitting right at that 4430 level for the E-mini futures contract. So if we get above that, the environment for the market outside of traditional markets like the cryptocurrency market become a lot more likely to see strength because the uh, environment becomes uh, healthy and uh, there's there's less fear, right? So um, we wanna really monitor this. This is the first test of the 100 day moving average the S&P 500 since the start of this year. And then outside of markets like international markets, commodity markets are not really doing much to talk about today. So very quick video, I guess today, um, the altcoin charts uh, uh, for the ones factoring everything outside of Bitcoin and Ethereum. Um, nothing crazy yet. We're still uh, double topping or maybe just forming a lower high here. Um, but we are above the weekly and monthly open, which is a puzzle piece. So let's keep that in mind. Um, if Bitcoin continues above 44,800, we could be seeing some strength here for all coins. Remember, there's also that potential of a higher high forming here. Uh, but right now, I think we're extremely early on that um, because Bitcoin did see that second leg down causing this total cryptocurrency market cap chart to also see the second leg down here over the last three days. Um, and so this is a bearish continuation. And this almost already has confirmed itself as a lower high from the May high. And so um, we really want to monitor this. Uh, the total market cap is certainly not above the weekly and monthly open, which is a puzzle piece as well. So remember, all coins are low market cap. When Bitcoin is not moving inside of the ranges to new ranges, then all coins don't have to see too much downside. Um, they, they can actually see some upside days. And so um, but I, I think monitoring this Ethereum to Bitcoin chart back at 70,000 Satoshi's heading towards 65,000 Satoshi's was forming new lows on a daily basis is a big puzzle piece. Uh, and then we know Bitcoin dominance is yet to break any of the lows that it found in May, uh, indicating potential double bottom and copying what the DXY did to get above its 20 week moving average with Bitcoin dominance is yet to do so. So Main points is we're going to watch the forty four thousand eight hundred dollar level if we get the test of it um, and then we need to monitor the volume there. If we get to forty one thousand nine hundred and fifty again, that's a major concern. We've already cleared volume halfway through this range. And so a straight shot to thirty six thousand five hundred is my opinion. If we break forty one thousand nine hundred and fifty, if we get above forty four thousand eight hundred, then we can potentially buy ourselves time between the forty four thousand eight hundred and forty nine thousand seven hundred dollar level and then monitor the things from there. Right. Depending on how the DXY is moving and stuff like that, we can talk about whether we'll continue above fifty thousand or not. But for now, we follow the path and we just take a neutral perspective on things. And so I hope you guys enjoyed today's analysis. It is actually extremely windy here in Greece. Let me show you guys the view again. A lot of you guys enjoyed the view last time. It's extremely windy and that jacuzzi actually does not turn hot. So I am not jumping in there. But anyways, thank you all for tuning into the Cypress channel today. And I hope you enjoyed today's analysis. Remember to smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm so we can hit 100,000 snipers on this channel. And until next time, snipers.